I went to the Merry Market this year, and that was really awesome to see all of these vendors. You know, it, it's not like, oh, yeah, Home Depot and Lowe's out there. It's like local people who are making things, crafts and things like that and right. selling them directly to to people. I, I really thought that that was great because you're, you're buying directly from the community. You exactly. Know? I, that, was, that was a really, really cool. A sweet yes. story from that was um, we – Last year, we did Merry Market, Um, you know, so COVID was still kind of a thing. And um, we got together and we decided that people had the choice whether they wanted to come or not. And you can mask, you know, um, we had masks and things like that to give them. Um, But our vendors, one of the sweets, many of the sweet stories, they had not been able to work. And I did not realize, you know, there's always the story behind the story. Yes, we're doing a fundraiser, but there's always another story there that we don't foresee coming. Mm -hmm. Someone that we're able to connect or find out that they too. So Mary Market has had some special things in that we always have people at the doors. And a lot of our moms in our community that have lost children have been able to sit and they help take up the money, but then they also get to talk to each other about their children and their loss. So that is one part of Mary Market that was established that we did not see coming. And in this past year with COVID, uh, several of the vendors came to us, tears in their eyes and said, thank you so much because I haven't been able to sell my things and I was late on a payment. And today I was able to make up enough to make my car payment. And they were so grateful yeah. for the event. And so there's always, and God does that, that, you know, you're working in this one area and then suddenly you find out that the whole time God had another plan to come in there and do it. And so that's always been true of all of our events. We've had been able to make connections, yeah. really neat connections. I think that's really awesome that you didn't expect that all of these, all of these, you know, moms that have had a similar tragedy in their right. lives come together and, you know, you're kind of like forming a, a help. A community. Yeah. A little network, a little community between them and stuff yeah. like that. A little it's, support network. That's right. And it's a club that, and we've talked about this, it does kind of become like not, I guess, a club or a community or what you want to say. It's one that you don't want to be a part of. Uh (laughs) You don't want that for anybody. Mm. But if you're in it, there is so much healing in that community. Mm. And to be able to look at someone and say, me too, is just, for me, Sue was my me too. When Trey was, we found out and they said that he probably would not make it out of high school with this disease, I I just kept thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to raise my other, my daughters and take care of a sick child and work a full-time job and all the things that came with it? God, how am I going to be able to do it? Well, I knew of Sue's story. And I, I remember, I told her one time, I said, like, you're the closest thing to Job I knew in the Bible. I mean, you lost everything that Mm -hmm. in one day and you continue to find a life. God, prevent so I would when I would get down I would think of Sue and I would say okay if Sue is still standing today Mm -hmm. I can I can do this God there's a way that you're going to help us to do this so that community is so vital to be able to look at someone and say you know me too that's the important that's what we miss about being able to go into the hospital as much as we used to because we could actually Look at that parent yeah. and say, share our stories, share our stories, directly and, connect with them, right. empathize with them in a way that feels, you know, just honest and real. And not just, not just in the form of finance, but in yeah. the form of saying, look, right now, you don't think you can get through this. You don't know how you're going to get through it, but I can tell you that there's a God and he's real, and he will walk you through this if you will let him. Mm-hmm. And that, that we, we really, that's one part of that COVID has just robbed us of. But we hope that we still get the opportunity because we always, when we, um, they give them our brochure and our stories, and then we have a little card that goes with it. So they know that it's not just from three ladies. It is from people that have walked the same journey. 